a very interesting business I'm in. I love it. And I think the key to this is respecting you, the audience. So the really good hosts, they spend a lot of time preparing in advance. Rush does that. Hannity does that. I know I do it. A lot of local hosts do the same thing. They're wonderful. And then there are others. There are others who are pretenders. And they tell you how different they are. And they spend the entire show telling you how different they are. They're not really different. They're lazy. They're weak. They lack substance. And they're jealous. And so they go on and on and on about all the degrees they have. When 20 years ago they're selling vitamin supplements. Go ahead, Google it. Or they'll talk up Vladimir Putin. This guy is great. And how dare anybody challenge Russia and Putin? Excuse me? They're Putin sympathizers. Putin, who's a fascist. Putin, who's now trying to conquer the countries around him. Despite a 1994 agreement with Ukraine. And so now anybody who wants to challenge Putin wants to go to war and use nukes. This is a very small mind of a guy that used to sell vitamin supplements. Putin's good, and the Founding Fathers are not. Right? Putin's great, and the Founding Fathers are not. Founding Fathers were not perfect. I think I say that all the time, but they were great men. Now, I could also waste your time and disrespect you by telling you what time I get up in the morning, what toothpaste I use to brush my teeth, what I had for lunch, the last time my dog had a bowel movement. I could read from Wikipedia, so you think I'm really smart. But I don't disrespect you that way. And I'm never going to disrespect you that way. This is a very honorable business that we're in. We're very lucky to be in it, to have the opportunity to talk to millions and millions of you. Not about ourselves, not about our psychological problems, and a lot of people in this business have psychological problems. All you have to do is listen, and you can tell. Over and over again, how you're trying to be different, over and over again, positioning yourself. I'm asked many times by young people, how do you... How do you get into radio and how do you succeed? Well, the bottom line is be yourself. Don't be a fraud. You don't need to trash everybody else in order to build up your own five foot three physique. Be yourself. And I would tell young people, if you want to get into this business, that's how you build an audience. You respect your audience. Nobody wants to hear endlessly about your habits, what kind of food you stuff up your nostrils, when you defecate in the morning, how many homes you have, that you can put one foot in front of the other and walk. Good for you. Who cares? Nobody cares. And that's the difference between those who have ratings and those who don't those who have successful shows, and those who don't. I can go on the air and tell you about my degrees, tell you about my grades, tell you about my honors, tell you about my awards. Why? The little pukes do that. You can go online and find out about all of us. Some of it's true, some of it's not true. But I want to stand up for this format, and I want to stand up for most of the hosts who do this day in and day out and do it well. And do it very, very well. 
And these are men and women who actually believe what they say. They weren't radical leftists. They never donated to Jerry Brown. They never did all those things. They're serious people. They want to entertain too. You know, we need to have an audience. They're not entertainers. But it's important to entertain. So you'll never hear me come on here and tell you over and over again who I'm not, and why I'm not, and all on, blah, 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 and on and on and on. You won't hear me talk about, you know, all those human functions and habits that nobody gives a damn about. It's not funny. It's not entertaining. It's not smart. Any homeless person can do it. Matter of fact, I suggest... Maybe that homeless person should try it. I just mentioned this because of how wonderful most of the people are in this business. Most of the hosts. Most of the hosts respect you. They're not snorting fortune cookies and uh, low main down uh, during breaks in their show and then burping on the air. <laughs> 